Dice appears to have a fascination with making the community go absolutely mental over Easter egg challenges. You might remember the Phantom Program or the Illuminati Easter egg from Battlefield 4. Many hours were spent trying to solve those and it seems that Dice are right back with it here in Battlefield 1. Welcome to the Marconi Easter egg or the Headphone Easter egg as you might know it and this video will explain all of the steps that you need to take in order to complete it to its first unlockable stage, the beginning dog tag. Every player's journey to solving this easter egg is somewhat different but I will reference a great source down below in the description that will help you on your own journey. Congratulations to the Battlefield Easter Egg Discord community who officially found this easter egg. Congratulations, it uh, must have taken you quite a long time to get your hands on this. If you want to join the hunt for future easter eggs, there's a link to the Discord down in the description. I'm on there, there's a few other YouTubers and plenty of community members all looking to try and unlock as many easter eggs as we can. Now this is an extremely long process and it will take you some time but once you've done it, you'll be in the best position should the easter egg develop further in future patches and you get yourself a rather unique dog tag as well. So let's get to it then. Your first step is to find a pair of headphones on one of the maps. Get yourself into an empty server for this. There are several different locations that these headphones could be in, but only one pair will spawn at any one time. There is a list of headphone locations on the Game Detectives wiki that I've linked down in the description. It's worth keeping that wiki page open, it's got plenty of resources on it. Now once you've found a pair of the headphones, you'll need to locate the hidden MCOM location on the map. Again, you can use the Game Detectives wiki for this, it'll tell you exactly where you need to go. And once you move close to it, the MCOM will start to play some Morse code. Now it's essential that you capture this Morse code and get it written down in some way. Now the easiest method to capture it is to record the gameplay of you sitting in front of that MCOM. You can use Nvidia Shadowplay, DxTory, the built-in recorder on Xbox One or PS4, if you've got an Elgato, anything like that so that you can record the message. Trust me, it'll be extremely hard to write this down if you were to just listen to it. Once you've recorded the message, you'll need to extract the audio track from it using a video rendering program like Adobe Premiere, Vegas Pro or something similar and produce a sound file that you can listen to. Once you've done that, drop the sound file into an editor like Audacity which is a free audio recording and editing program and I've linked that below for you as well. Once this file is sitting in there, there are a few tricks that you can do to isolate the Morse code that we're listening out for and even visualize the code to make it much easier to decipher. Firstly, change the view of the waveform to spectrogram, apply a split stereo to mono effect and then normalize the audio from the effect menu at the top. Then if you zoom in a little bit, you've got some distinct orange marks. That's your Morse code. You've got dots and dashes there. Type them out manually with spaces and that will form your unique message from this MCOM station. You're going to be doing this Morse code decryption a lot throughout this easter egg process so make sure you get yourself familiar with it. Once you've got that Morse code typed out, you then need to decrypt it. Linked in the description is a Morse code translator. Copy your message from your notepad into the translator and you should be presented with a message. Mine read as the following. Hotel check Peron. Old methods compromised. Must acquire new key. Will miss drop off if delay or incorrect location. Now this may be different to your own message and this is the point where your journey to completing this easter egg will be unique to you. Where I was told to go to a certain place, you might be told to go to one of 27 other locations on the maps in Battlefield 1 to find your next clue. There's no shortcuts here, this is going to take a while. Now the Game Detector wiki page has all of the possible locations listed for you, so you're easily going to be able to find the next clue. And under that is a list of pictures showing you exactly where the clue is. 
Go and find your clue. It should be a very small little arrow pointing in both directions. You should also hear some dramatic sound play in the background when you look at the clue. And that confirms you've done everything right so far. What do we do next then? Well, the process unfolds over several returns to the secret MCOM stations with the headphones so we can listen to new Morse code. Now, you can go to any of the MCOM locations on any of the maps if you want to, but be sure to record the Morse code that the MCOM station plays so that you can decipher it. Each time you return, if you've worked out the code before and found the clue, the lights on the MCOM should change colour. Follow the same steps as you did with the first code, extract the audio into Audacity, set the waveform to spectrogram, stereo to mono, and normalise the file, and then get writing that code down again. Use the Morse code translator to decode your second message. This time, mine said this. String of letters, remember first rule. If compromised, L-pill. Those random jumble of letters? Well, they aren't random at all. The arrow we found in our first clue location is the key here to getting that code right. Reverse the jumble and you end up with another location that you need to go to. Mine now reads this. Tree Fortress 4. Remember first rule. If compromised, L-pill. Tree Fortress 4. That refers to Foul Fortress and the palm tree in the middle of it. I need to go there to find my next clue. As with the first code, you might get a different location, so make sure you reference the Game Detector Wiki for guides on where to go next. So I've just headed to Foul Fortress and I've found the next clue. It's a triangle with a right angle on it. Now we know from the last code that these clues are the key to decrypting the next stage of the Easter Egg. So we know what we have to do. We have to go back to the MCOM station with our headphones that we've picked up again and listen to the next code. You'll notice that the lights are different on the MCOM again. Record the code, create an audio track, put it in Audacity, translate the code, go through that process, but this time my message read this. Random jumble of letters, second rule. On sighting, report and wait. Investigating alone could lead to death. Now this code is half decrypted and half not. The Morse code was only the first step of this message and the second part, we need to get rid of that random jumble of letters at the start. Now the triangle is the clue here. That random jumble of letters requires what's known as an at-bash cipher to decode its meaning. This is a cipher where the alphabet is simply reversed. So for example, A equals Z, B equals Y, C equals X, and so on. Now you could decode this manually if you want to, but why do that when there are plenty of automated decoders out there? I've linked an at bash cipher down in the description so you can go and decrypt your message, but my one now reads as the following. Pillar outskirts Jafar, second rule. On sighting, report and wait, investigating alone could lead to death. Now if we look on Game Detective, that means I need to head to Sinai Desert to find my next clue. Out here on Sinai Desert, I found the clue. It's an arrow pointing to the right-hand side. Make sure you use the wiki page so that you can find your location because that is the key to the next code message. Once you've found it, go and grab some headphones again and head to the secret MCOM location, recording the new Morse code message that it spits out. My next message was as follows. Random jumble of letters, third rule. If taken by the others, discover means to communicate to house. That random jumble of letters again can be decrypted with the clue that we found at our last location, the right arrow. Now this indicates a shift to the right, and the cipher that we need to use this time is called the Caesar cipher, or what's known as the Caesarian shift. This shifts the placement of the alphabet along a certain number of places. And of course, we have a website that will let us automate all of that. Link down in the description. Make sure you use the N value of 19 from the drop down menu, and that will give you the correct output. My random jumble of letters now reads Pillow Mazar Jafar, which means again I need to head back to Sinai Desert 
to find the next clue. Remember, your message is unlikely to be the same as mine, so make sure you use Game Detective to look up where your next location is. Once you've got the location, go and find the next clue, and this time, you'll find that it's a fence. Rinse and repeat here now, guys. Once you've found the clue, grab the headphones again and back to the MCOM you go to decode your new Morse code message. Now, mine read, random string of letters, fourth rule. Kill all on same trail. Remove dog tags. The random string of letters, again, can be solved by figuring out the clue. That was the fence. We need to use the rail fence cipher to figure out that random string. Now, the cipher is also an anagram, so you can simply rearrange the letters in that string to resemble one of the locations on the Game Detective website. I rearranged my message and it read Statues Garden Apremont. Now the developers made a little bit of a mistake here. The word Apremont actually needs to be switched with another, Varens. This means I need to head to Ballroom Blitz to find my next clue. So if you get Apremont or Varens in any of the names, simply switch those two words over and you'll be able to find the right location. Got myself loaded into Ballroom Blitz, I found the clue, and this time it's a set of dots and dashes. Not Morse code, but something a little bit different. Back to the MCOM again with our headphones, get the Morse code, decode that, and my new message read, well, lots of T's and E's basically. What could this mean? The clue is the dots and the dashes. It's a form of steganography, and part of that is the Baconian Cypher. Sounds pretty yummy, that does. <laughs> to use this cipher, we need to convert the message into A's and B's. So swap all the T's for B's and all of the E's for A's. And now you need to put the new AB code into the Baconian Cypher that I've linked down in the description and you'll get a proper message. And when I say proper, it's just another random string of letters. Well, that's what it seems anyway. We've got a little bit more decoding to do. We need to use the at bash cipher again on this new string of code to decode the message. Remember the at bash cipher is essentially the alphabet in reverse. Use the at bash cipher site down in the description again and bam, you've actually got your message. Mine reads Longueville Statue, another location for us to go to to find the next clue. Now I didn't decode the full message here, as the Morse went on for so long, I actually lost track of where I was. So I just put all that I had into the decoders and I got a partial location, which was enough for me to know where I need to go. But as before, if you're not 100% sure, use the Game Detective Wiki page to help you find your location from your message. It will likely be different to my one here. Got myself over to the location in Amiens and the clue this time is a word, Edward. Hop back over to the MCOM location with your headphones and record the next Morse message. This time, yet again, mine was a massive string of letters. We need to sort these out into different words. Now the word Edward, our last clue that we found, is the key here for the Virginia cipher. I think that's how you say it. I can't pronounce French words very well. And we need to use the passphrase Edward and that will unlock the message in plain text. I've linked the website for the cipher down in the description. Make sure you change the drop down menu to decrypt. Now my message reads, Amiens nerf furniture. Allies can be clothed as enemies. Enemies can be clothed as allies. Always use ID. This is our next location. Head over to whichever location the code gave you and find the next clue. This time it's another word. George. Back to the MCOM with your headphones for another Morse code message. Getting a little bit repetitive now, isn't it? Mine spat out another string of letters. This time you need to use an auto key cipher to decode the letters into words. Make sure the function is set to decrypt again. Your alphabet key is Z and the passphrase is George. Put your message in and convert it. My message said, Stove Turret Venetian, final. Believe everything, report everything. 
And using the Game Detective wiki page, that means I need to head to Mont Grappa to find the next clue. Now, I found it, that was really quick, and it's another word, this time London. You know the drill now, get back to the MCOM with those headphones for another Morse message. However, this will be your final message. The message this time will be exactly the same for everyone here, but for clarity it's up on the screen for you now. Remembering our clue is the word London, how do we decode this? Well, this one actually caused a few people in the Easter Egg community a little bit of a hardship and development on the Easter Egg slowed down a little bit, but the team over at Discord eventually cracked it and they found that you needed to reverse the converted Morse message, then use an auto key cipher again with the alphabet starting at Z and the passphrase as London to get a new message. Now when the new message comes up, it's in reverse so you need to flip it round and the final message that you get is Giant Shadow, Windmill Balcony, Look Up. And this is the final part to the Easter Egg. Get yourself loaded into Giant Shadow, spawn as a German soldier and head to the windmill behind the German spawn point. Get yourself onto the balcony at the top and you'll see pigeons flying in the sky. Now keep looking up and after a long wait, a pigeon will fly just over your head and you'll hear that suspenseful completion sound again. That means you've completed all of the steps correctly. You should be able to now back out of the server, go into the dog tank menu and under the miscellaneous tab, there will be your brand new, extremely hard worked for dog tag called the beginning. Now I said that was the end, but technically there is just a little bit more. The dog tag itself shows a skull with a ring hanging from its mouth, almost a little bit like a door knocker, and the initials CM are engraved onto it. Also, if you head back out to one of the MCOM locations with the headphones, there will be a new Morse code message awaiting you. It translates to Master Man. The tone of the code has changed as well. It's far darker and eerie than it was before, and the MCOM has glowing red lights on it. The next steps of the Easter Egg aren't currently known, but based on the name of the dog tag, this is surely only just the beginning. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you managed to follow my guide so that you can unlock this dog tag. All links to the ciphers and the decoders are down in the description with the Game Detective Wiki article, which has all of the references and all the information that you need to complete this Easter Egg. Highly recommending following their guide just as much as mine. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.